everybody, my name is Nikki and this is Nick's Picks. And today I'm going to be doing a Disney food tag challenge. My friend Wendy over at Happiness and Sweet Tea has tagged me to go ahead and replicate one of Disney's recipes. So being here at home, I needed to use what I had in my pantry or in my garden, which is why I'm outside now and not in the kitchen, which we will be very shortly. And I've chosen to do 50's Prime Time Meatloaf. Now this is something that I actually make quite often at home. Uh, we really love it, we really enjoy it, so I'm very excited to be able to share the recipe with you. Uh, it comes from DisneyBlog.com. I will go ahead and put the link down below. And please go ahead and visit Wendy over at Happiness and Sweet Tea. Watching her videos is like the ray of sunshine that comes through the window on a cloudy day. She's just the sweetest thing ever. So please go check her out. All right, so let's get started. The recipe for the 50's Prime Time Meatloaf is not actually in this book, but I have a copy that I had printed off of DisneyFoodBlog.com. I have cut the recipe in half as I already had a 1.5 pound meatloaf mix from my local butler in my freezer. I did not have a green pepper, so I'm going to go ahead and use a red and orange pepper. Okay, so here I have all of my ingredients. For my eggs, I would normally be using two regular size eggs, but these came from a friend of mine that uh, has some chickens, and so I have two little eggs that I substituted for one regular size egg. I always like to mix my binding mixture together before I add the meat. I find it's easier to incorporate and I don't have to work the meat as much. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and split this in half. We will have half of this for dinner as a meatloaf, and I will still have leftovers from that, and then I'm going to go ahead and make some meatballs out of the remainder. Mm -hmm. 
I like to have a wide meatloaf because that way I get more sauce and crispy edges. If I did this right, I'll have enough left over for 16 meatballs. It will go perfect with the container of homemade spaghetti sauce I have in the freezer. As I mentioned earlier, I like my sauce. So while I cut the meatloaf recipe in half, I am going to make the full amount of the sauce. So while I have plenty of instant mashed potatoes, <laughs> I felt that this was honorable enough to use the last three potatoes. These are the last three potatoes from my potato harvest. And I'm going to make the mashed potatoes that go along with it using these. Just adding this clove of garlic as my potatoes boil will make it nice and soft and it will blend easily when I mix the potatoes. Alright, so I did good. I got the potatoes, I got the meatloaf, and now I need the vegetable. In Disney's 50s Prime Time, it's in Hollywood Studios, they serve their meatloaf with the mashed potatoes and they serve it with the green beans. I don't have any green beans, so I've come out to my garden and I'm going to hope that I can get some carrots that are big enough to do a nice little side dish with. So let's see. Oh, oh that one was a little tiny one. I pulled a little one out by accident. I think that's plenty. We're gonna go ahead and call it a day on that harvest. Dinner. Here are my little carrots from my garden. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Okay, so here we go. The meatloaf has been cooking for almost 45 minutes. Uh, so I went ahead and took it out. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pour on the sauce. And we'll make sure to scrape that out and not miss any. And at this point, before you put the sauce on, you could, if, if you wanted to, drain some of that fat out of there. Um, there wasn't really much fat in here, and it was all kind of clear, so I'm going to allow it to mix with the sauce, and it will be so tasty. All right, and that will go back in the oven for 10 more minutes. I also went outside and harvested some tomatoes off of my vines and some lettuce from my garden for a nice side salad. Everything is all cooked and ready to go, so let's get this plated. Here we go, this was a very delicious dinner as always. Thanks for joining me and at this time I would like to pass on the fun and tag It's Joey's World. I look forward to watching. Thanks again for joining and we'll see you real soon.